Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome to Solid Content and welcome to One Military Camp. <laughs> we played the demo a little while ago and it is coming out on Early Access very shortly. Uh, so let's. I just wanted to dive back in and check it out um, and see uh, see what's what's new and just kind of play around in this game a bit, which I really enjoyed. There are a bunch of things coming up that they've told us about, like in March, there's going to be some uh, enhanced missions and other support. April, they're going to release a sandbox mode right here. May, they're going to release something called Camp Mascots. I don't know what that means, but I'm looking forward to unlocking Camp Mascots. And they have like a whole other uh, rollout plan for the rest of the year as well. But right now, I think we just have the the campaign open to us. A uh, new game. Um, um, I, okay, yeah. Uh, 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 into the text box. There we go. Colonel Solid. Colonel Solid. <laughs> He's French, I guess. We're playing as the French. Okay, so here we go. The plan in this game, as far as I'm told, is to uh, build, customize, and then manage uh, your army as you train them through your boot camp, your military camp. We're about to find out here some of the lore. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so the stakes are high. They are going around cutting our fields down and turning off the water. So uh, we've got to fight back. And uh, and here is our lowly... Yeah, this is totally like you. Korean War, uh, Vietnam kind of style. Okay, stop right there. Hands up. Turn <gasps> around very slowly. <laughs> Oh, so your replacement said from the Officer Academy. Looking like that, I'll have to make do. I mean, if it looked like how I look, yeah, I could see being concerned. I hope I don't have to shave my beard. If I command considers you worthy, then so do I. There's no other option. I hope you're ready to work. I'm John Hawkins, Sergeant. Um, from now on, I'm Sergeant Hawkins. You okay? Fair enough. And my mission is to stop that dragon, the criminal. Oh my goodness, okay, we got this, we got this. All right, so a bunch of clicks later, uh, we got through, basically it is our job to uh, bring this 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 base back up to snuff. One thing I will say though, is like off the top of your game, I, I just kind of like it when there's fewer text bubbles right away. There's just like a lot of text bubbles to get through here. <laughs> Um, and so there's a lot of flavor in there, and I think maybe early game you want to like space that flavor out, I guess, but that's just a personal opinion. Nothing is repaired more than anything. We need people. We had to completely abandon it, but then we had to take it back when Dragon seized. Or, like, again, the, some of these, it's like, that's all great spice, but maybe you want fewer of these text boxes. Go feel, feel free to explore the camp. Okay, great. Okay, sweet. All right, let's go take a look at our, look at our, our barracks. Like, what are we dealing? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I do want to play the tutorial. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> you can watch a video tutorial by clicking on this icon at the top right of the screen. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it kind of... I mean, the tutorial is quite nice. That That's cool. Rotate the camera view. But let's just take a look at the land we have. So this is our military base. It's got an inner and outer kind of fencing. Goes right up... Oh, wow. Oh, it's, it's a little bigger than I even thought. Okay, so there's like a lot of terrain here. And I think in the demo, I pointed... I kind of likened this to a little bit of like a... Sim Safari. Do you remember that game? Like, it kind of has that vibe, but, like, much better graphics and such. Uh, but the other thing I'm looking forward to is the fact that it's got, like, a dynamic... Uh, map as well. So we're going to be fighting on a global scale trying to take back land from a Dragon? Dragon? Probably Dragon. I'm going to say Dragon. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, on our micro scale, we're going to be managing our little uh, our mil military camp here, which is looking pretty good. Okay, zoom into a building. Oh, it is a not good shape. Oh, and the center mouse wheel. I don't know if that's even... That might be new. I'm not sure. It's weird, though, because you kind of rotate and you pull it up, and then as soon as I let go... It goes back down to this level. I mean, that's still, it, it works well though, I like it. Okay, select the barracks, okay. We gotta clean this thing up. Uh, it's not all about work, you have to keep your mind and body healthy. Each barracks can hold seven cadets. Keep that in mind when things get crowded. As you can see, our new barracks has no power. Like I said, we're running on fumes. Okay, so we gotta power it. Um, build an electric generator to supply power to this whole area. Okay, okay. All right, uh, so the build menu's bottom left here. Okay, good. Oh my goodness, five, 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 wait, five, five, two. Oh, this must be like, oh, oh, there's so many buildings to unlock. Oh, cool. Okay, so we've got power poles, solar panels, batteries, aeolic, aeolic generators. 
Then logistics and training. Oh, I think logistics. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like a... Oh, that's great. I like how that's laid out. Electric generator generates electricity. Okay, wrong place. Oh, it's tutorials. So it's like, no, you got to place it right here. Yep. I love it. A well-lit barracks, just the way I like it. Now the newbies will have to a place to take a breather after training. Find the canteen and click on it. Okay, probably need to power that too, don't we? This is the canteen here. Oh, very cool. <laughs> You never forget that taste of the army chow. Back in my day, they even used to toss in an old tire or two. <laughs> uh, build a road to the canteen. Okay, I saw the road tool. I saw the road tool. Uh, it's warning me it's not connected. It's over here. I love it. Okay. Let's bring this road. I guess, like, let's do this. And then, can I still do... No, never mind. I wanted to do some more road design. <laughs> This road will help troops reach the canteen easily. Now I have to connect it to the power grid. Build some electric poles. Power the canteen. Okay. Well, how... How much in the way do these electric poles get? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it looks like you can really... Yeah, they, they have their own little mini grid. I quite like that. Okay. So, like, how far away... Oh, I see. Okay. Why are they so twisted? Oh, I can untwist the... Oh, but not if I do that. Okay, so wait, what can I do? There. <laughs> yeah, because I don't like how twisted those are. I'm not allowed to zoom in right now? I want to zoom in. Okay. So click there. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, I just kind of want to see the view of how... <laughs> okay, I think that's the best option. And we're going to go right up to that building. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. Well done. Uh, it's starting to work. Good. Now I have to hire a new cook, preferably someone who doesn't add chunks of tire to the soup. Well, if we need to, though. Some buildings like the canteen requires to hire some people, and by that I mean qualified personnel. Soup in the barracks with the troops. The morale will be higher if you build them a private house. Uh, make sure This is what I'm talking about, though. There's a lot of clicks. So I'm just saying, there's a lot of clicks. Look, they had a private house built for our first cook. If you want to bring in more, please, you'll have to build more. Remember that. Now, the first one should be here any minute now. Let's see if anyone came in who can help us. Okay, so we got to hire some people. Okay, here we go. Mm. So this is the hiring area. Hans, Hansel Poposki. Hmm. As you can see, every candidate has their own specific skills. The skills we want depends on the job. They have skills which are basic abilities, and then they have traits. Okay. It looks like the Poposki guy isn't a bad cook. He says he makes an incredible hey. cabbage soup. All right. Yeah, we don't want any unpleasant surprises. Okay, let's hire him as a cook then. All right, which one is... I just want... Okay, I'm going to take a look, though. What do we got here? John Hawkins. That's like a, that's the guy that's been yelling at us. So this is the only other person we can click on. Okay. So I want to take a look here. He has never known what he wanted to do, but this is the tenth job he's had. Maybe it'll be the last. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to hire this guy. He's a good cook. Okay, good. Defensive knowledge. And a night owl. That's pretty cool. Okay. We can assign him here. Oh, and this is his, like, schedule. I'm right-clicking on it or left-clicking on it. I don't think I can change it yet. I maybe I haven't hired him. So if we hire him as a private or we hire him as maintenance. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is going to automatically assign him to the canteen because it needs somebody there. And this is kind of just... It's, I'm just trying to look to see if it tells us, like, how if this is a good or a bad idea. Anyway, let's get let's hire him for that. But I'm sure there's going to be, yeah, various, yeah, roles we're going to hire. Or we can just hire privates and then maybe specialize them later on, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, let's hire this cook here. 350 doubloons a day. We've got our cook now. That's the spirit. Now he has joined us. Our troops will eat like kings. Um, first, we have to get the canteen ready. This building has been abandoned for a long time. It's in terrible condition. Looks like it. Hey! Oh, I thought we were going to get to put in our own floors. Okay. I do think that this game doesn't have a lot of, like, customization inside the buildings, which could be a limiting thing. But I also I think that would be very hard to make in this game. All right. Let's get a maintenance worker. Uh, if we don't look after them, our troops won't be able to train. On top of that, they're also in charge of managing our camp warehouses and supplies. So there are logistics guys. Okay. Let's go do that. Info menu and request it to be clean. Back in my day, let's use a toothbrush. I want to see my reflection on those floors. In the, in the, I guess in the steel floors, but you're not going to see your reflection in the dirt, sir. All right, wait, what am I building? Oh, I see. We want to build a maintenance building so that people come in that are hireable for that position. Okay. So R to rotate. Oh, and the mouse wheel. 
So, oh, you can't, I see, you can't zoom in while building for obvious reasons. Okay, well, let's put it right. No, because we want something there. Let's put it right in this corner here. Very cool. Okay, there's our maintenance building. Build a fun fully functional private house so that they can, so we can get our staff to live there. Oh, wait, so where's the other guy's private house? Hang on, get, get me out of here. I don't see the other private house for the chef. I know he said something to the effect of, like, I've already built one. Oh, that's it right there. Yeah, let's make a little private house area over here, maybe. Um, so we're going to go like this. And then if it... Okay, it says hire maintenance worker, but one second. One second. Bring the road out like this. And then up... Oh, wait. We could even go up like this. Then I'm going to put private houses all along here. And then that area will be green in, in the middle, which will kind of look nice. That's my dream. I'm already getting into the design, baby. All right, let's zoom in here. And I assume they want us to hire Robert Clark. Strength, 30. Defensive knowledge, experience, and security option increases 25% faster. That's nice. He's a real know-it-all who thinks he knows more than everyone else. Well, you're hired because I have to. <laughs> okay, now I need to go over here and be like, clean the floors or something. Hey. Wait, I... <sighs> okay. <laughs> I, I thought I, I was about to do it. We can't run our canteen if we don't no. have any food, can we? We have to take care of this, of course. Supplies are essential for keeping the machinery runny. We now we have the nest. We have to be careful to make sure that we have a constant flow of resources: food, fuel, food, medicine, ammo. Okay, mm. pretty good. Okay. Oh, we're about to go to the map. Wasn't I supposed to order the? Oh, okay. Wasn't I supposed to order the cleaning of this? This is the country map. Now, this is the thing where we can see, like, yeah, this is a bad situation. We have to take back a lot of land. Uh, uh, Dragon has taken control of almost every re region. The recalcitrant fool. To bring up your map, either press the country map icon at the bottom left of your screen, or zoom out in camp view until the map appears. Oh, that's convenient. I like that. Uh, or zoom in. Okay. Feels a little bit. Some of them are resource suppliers. The problem is most of them are areas controlled by Dragon. As we complete missions, we'll unlock the new territories and gain access to these suppliers. See, this is the thing I like. I like the dynamic map. I like that we're going to unlock stuff as we go. Some have more competitive prices or greater production capacity. Keep an eye out uh, for good deals. Okay, good. Yes, please. Let's talk about managing supplies. <laughs> it's taking the camera over a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot of talking, but I do know it's necessary. Allow us to store precious resources. They come in various types depending on what they hold. Don't mix food with fuel or... Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Let's replace the close to buildings that need them because our maintenance personnel will have to go back and forth pushing a wheelbarrow. Ugh. Hey. Right. Okay, first food warehouse. Let's do it. Where do I want that? Or is it not going to let me? It's probably going to tell me exactly where to put it, but for now, we're learning. It's not. Okay. So, I really want to be able to zoom in the camera... You know what I mean? Like, let's zoom in like this and decide where we're going to put it. The warehouse. Put it around back, maybe? No, we should probably have it just, like, close by. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out the road a little bit. Just, like, a straightaway. Although we could also have it... Like, okay, what if we do this? I'm spending money I don't need to, I think. But anyway. There we are. Food warehouse. <laughs> Our maintenance staff will be in charge of distributing the supplies. If you look at the warehouse, you can bring up the supplier list. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. So things are going to get easier as we gain more territories. We're going to get different resources, probably, too. Better resources. Okay, sweet. Hey. That's enough chit-chat. Our warehouse won't be worth thinking. We put it, don't put something in it. Request our first food order. Okay, I will. So wait, I was supposed to click on this and ask them to... Okay, here we go. Maintenance. There, somebody come do stuff. Where's my dude? Oh, he's over here. Okay. And we'll restock it, yeah. I feel like that's lit. Lit up. Yes, sir. Hold shift to assign building. Oh, cool. Very cool. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, but I like I like how that functions. And is he coming over? I think yes, he's assigned sir. to tidying up this one, so we'll have to let him do that, but I really want him over here, ASAP. Alright, let's set up an order. Buy 400, for 460 doubloons. Let's buy a bunch of food. So I assume that'll show up. Oh, oh, sick! Sick! <laughs> Our food reserves are at optimal levels now, but we wear nothing lasts forever. Yes, of course. 
You can order more supplies from the info panel for each warehouse or from the supplier on the county country map. I wonder if it becomes, if it's automated or if you're gonna have to micro that every time. Make sure we never run out of supplies. How about building a fuel warehouse to supply our electric generator? Remember that the more warehouses we have, the more maintenance workers we will need. We may need to hire someone else. Let's get to work. Okay. Oh, that's sick. Yes, always supply me with, with a, hel a helicopter. That's that's amazing. I'm wondering if have I if I turn that off. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's coming on the double to come and do some repair work. Oh, I love that. Okay. All right, so it wants me to build a fuel warehouse, which I assume needs to be here. So let's go. I'm at, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it no. I'll put it here. Yeah, we're going to keep the tree. We're going to keep the tree. And let's uh, make an order and buy some fuel. Bring in the helicopter. Yes. Drop off the fuel. <laughs> okay, how's the repairs going over here? Yes, sir. He's arrived. He's going to start cleaning up the place. Love that he takes the broom right out of his pocket. Pocket broom. I just want to see if it, like, gradually gets cleaner. It'll probably snap into a cleanlier state once he's done, I guess, maybe. Gotta hire another maintenance worker. Okay, let's do that. Uh, we only have one worker to pick from, and that is Sophia Ortiz. A movie buff who loves watching films from every genre. Okay, well, I don't need to get to know you too well. I just need you to work as our, uh, as one of our maintenance people. Good. This is starting to look like a real camp. We have supplies and a place to eat and sleep. It's time to get to work. Let's start with the training buildings. Yes! Okay, let's bring in some soldiers. Our troops can get through to some tough training before they can pick a specialization. There are many different specializations from pilot to comms, operator, or even spy. Each one requires a different set of skills. So the first skills training is most important. Oh, so we're going to have to just, like, start them out as basic recruits, I guess. Okay. For now, let's focus on two kinds of basic training. Strength and intelligence. No. Choose where you build them wisely. Training buildings make a distinct sound like an enemy's weapon. It's best to keep the barracks away from entertainment areas so that our troops get some sleep at night. Remember, we have a demolition hey. tool. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so I feel like... So this area, we're just gonna, we should just line this area with barracks, and then you should come down here for like training. But maybe basic training can be down here. So what did they want us to build? They want us to build intelligence training, which is, I mean, maybe, yeah, if this is all barracks back in this space here. Hold on, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, <laughs> too much. So if this is the barracks area here, yeah, this area, we can just, yeah, let's just put it right up against the canteen then. You go get your breakfast, and then boom, you're off to go do some some basic training. Oh, this looks awesome. I, I, I will be honest, I do wish that we could do some design work in there, but I also feel like that would be a different type of game. And this is about, probably about, more about, you know, management of people, not necessarily, uh, not necessarily, you know, a design, like a decor game. So I'm going to put this one behind here, and the reason is, I'm not sure why. There we are. Well done! Ah, our camp is now operational. All right, so we got to go hire some people now. Looking good. My camera's stuck on the side, but that's fine. It says wrong skills or traits. They won't be affected by missions, and that's something we can't afford. Let's start with that one there. What do you mean with that one there? I can't see what you're pointing at. Okay, so this is going to be our physical one. Well, I can't see I can't see who you're talking about, but okay. Let me do, <laughs> Let me click on him. Let me click on him, Sergeant Hawkins. <laughs> oh, I see. It's trying to center the camera. I think if the camera was turned around, that would work better. Good, much better. That's the one. This recruit is in really good shape. And I think they have lots of potential. The decision is yours. We need to recruit someone as soon as possible. Okay, so we need to pick the more, like, physically good one or something. Uh, can I move this menu? No. Okay. Uh, strength 20. Sprinter. Defensive knowledge. Okay. And then how about, whoops, how about this one? Strength 10. Sickly. Okay. So this is our strong, our strong man, our strong woman. Uh, <laughs> we did it. You. Get to work. Nah. Sorry, I get excited every time a new guy. Okay, great. <laughs> he was, all right. Anyway, where was I? Ah, yeah, skill training. You see, when a recruit comes into camp as a private, they'll go to whatever training they want to, unless you tell them otherwise. Um, okay, so if I, I could see them, it would drive them nuts. Okay, that's enough now, sir. Just tell me what I need. Like I said, they're hard-headed. The only solution is for you to tell them where you want to train. 
Yeah, we like that. Oh, we don't like that. Okay. Uh, what? I, but I wanted... They were the strong one. Uh, when the time comes, it'll come in handy if we're able to specialize troops into comms operators. Remember what I told you? Skills training is key when deciding which specializations our cadets should have. Finally, if you want uh, your troops to train faster, you can speed things up in the menu on the bottom right of your screen. Okay, that's cool. There's a bit of a speed thing. So, okay. So yes, I want to turn... I want to... Wait, hang on. Intelligence yes, prior, uh, training. Okay, strength training. Let's click on this. Yes, intelligence sir, training boss. instead. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I, I think we're ready. Yeah, let's see. Oh, sick. Okay, so they have to be privates first. Let's focus on training more troops. I'll tell you how specializations work later. Don't let me down! Oh, yes! Okay, now, before I get going crazy here, I've got 134,000 doubloons. Oh, I'm making money, plus 1,200 daily income. Research points are not... I'm not gaining any right now. So we just need to hire some more people. But it looks like... So far, I have the one option of the sickly guy. So it's like... Oh, wait. Oh, more are showing up, potentially. Yes! All right, what are you, what's your deal? You're much better. Recovers slower from an injury, but maybe we can make you yes, like a sir. comms person or something. Let's Understood. get you into intelligence training. And this is going to fill up soon, but maybe not so soon that I have to worry about it. Uh, but you know what? Kind of want another barracks. What's this? A premium house. Oh, yeah. I can put the premium house here. I don't need a premium house, but like, how, it's not even that much. Zoom in a little bit here and take a look. If I hit the B key, oh, it's, it re, it's, oh, okay, it always kind of zooms the camera out for building. Okay, that's fine. It is, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I, excuse me, sir. I was trying to learn. <laughs> Time flies when you're busy, yes. This does look much cleaner, to be honest. Uh, however, we want this, or our camp will have to provide services around the clock. Obviously, we can't make them work day and night. That'd be inhumane, but we can't assign some of our Hi. workers to the night shift. So I need two workers per canteen, then, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry, it's easier than it looks. Okay, this is kind of enjoyable, though. We just need to get through the guy talking at us all the time. Here you can see the current schedule and the buildings they are assigned to. The schedule is day and night shift, divided into service and rest periods. I think, I guess, yeah, what is it about tutorials? Maybe allowing me more freedom to move the camera around and make a few building mistakes or something would be nice, rather than just, like, seizing the camera, but it is what it is. Um, luckily, I'm always on top of things. I've prepared a couple of standard schedules for you to choose. That's nice to get me started. Um, you can also customize schedules by cleaning on each box separately. It's getting dark at the campus. Hire a cook to assign them to the night shift. Okay. Okay, I will do probably the sickly one, I guess. What do we have here? Oh, sh I think she's supposed to be the cook. And you know what? We should probably hire this person, too. Well, let's hire her as the cook. All right. And then yes, how do sir. I... Okay, um... Oh! All right. Okay, great. That was easy. Yes, so, sir. checking this, it looks like I can... Oop. Yes, sir. How do I customize the schedule? Not that I'm going to. Forced rest, monitor soldier. Um. Oh, I guess maybe I can make my own schedule setups. Uh, but but right now that one works uh, pretty well. Uh, okay, let's see. We got some more privates here. We got another one. Uh, diurnal stamina decreases ten percent slower during the day. Okay. Oh, uh, this could be a good like intelligence person. <laughs> I'm going to get her into Consider intelligence again, training. Boss. Let's get the sickly one. <laughs> Let's hire him. I hey. guess. Might as well. well we need everybody. Whenever you hire or recruit someone, they will have a night or day schedule, depending on when they first set foot into the camp. Okay. So I need to check with that lady, because she has like a day. She's better in the day. Um... Okay, make sure that all camp services are provided around the clock and everything will run smoothly. But let's get on with the lesson. The sun is going down on our cadets and workers have finished for the day. This has truly been the longest day. Hey. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I knew how to be persuasive, but his methods are thankfully a thing of the past. <laughs> he's kind of, he's like, he likes the new way of doing things, but also <laughs> uh, pines for the old days. I never thought a cadet could run so much, but apparently alligators are pretty fast. <laughs> I don't get that one. Uh, to keep morale up, you have to be careful not to assign too much work. Also, as you may have seen, we can construct certain buildings or other entertainment mm -hmm. and, 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 and amenities. <laughs> How about a game of arcade? All right, that's good. Build an entertainment building, and if you like, add some street lamps to our camp. 
Hmm. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Okay. I wonder if we can get some, like, nice concrete roads, too. Like, if we can improve our roads, that'll be awesome. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, entertainment building. Oh, just, like, general entertainment? Okay, but I don't want it too close. Oh, it's big, isn't it? I don't want it too close. I'm going to put it kitty corner to the canteen. I feel like that's a good position for it. Yeah, dude. The oh, cool. This is awesome. Okay. Look at those. Look at the designs. I really like how they've laid this out. This is awesome. Okay, uh, so let's build in some street. Which kind of ones do we want? These ones are pretty cool. Again, I wish I'd really like to be able to zoom in on them. A speaker improves the oh flags and stuff. A fence gate. Oh, very cool. Is this concrete barrier? Oh, sick. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah, there's some design work to be done in here. I like it. I think I'm gonna go for these street lights. They, they look a, just a little more like, kind of like apropos, like with the wood, with the with the you know dirt floors and everything. So let's get some outside here. One there and there. And then, uh... Oh no, it's the daytime. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't want me to place any more. I want to keep placing more. <laughs> All right, yes, what's your sir. deal? Okay, what do you... Oh, okay, what's it telling me? Wait, wait, hang on. What's it saying? Train a soldier to reach 60 intelligence yes, points. Sir. Okay, so she has 29 intelligence points. Okay, so once she gets to 60, we're kind of good to go. We've got our entertainment building. Where are all these people? Oh, there are cooks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're on the daytime shift. Yes, sir. And you're oh, okay. I have a cook there. I have. Yes, a, I just sir. didn't see you. I didn't see you off the top. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Um, so we need to get to sixty intelligence points, but I kind of want to keep hiring people. I think. Uh, you're kind of an every every man. Let's get you into. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in strength training. Let's get you. You're going to be an intelligence officer because you're sickly. And the other sickly guy should be sent to intelligence Roger, training as well. Okay, how am I doing in this, uh, this building? Six of seven. Okay, time to build a new one. I know the game is, like, going to tell me what to do, but you can't tell me what to do, video game. <laughs> uh, new barracks right here. Too many rotations. There we go. Good. All right, so we can hire some more people now. Uh... What do we have here? A party animal who's always down to clown. She's pretty mediocre. It doesn't excel at anything. You know what? She sounds a lot yeah. like me. We like her. You know what? Strength training. Okay. And defensive knowledge experience as a security officer increases 25% faster. Okay. That's cool. Let's get you <laughs> into intelligence sure training. Oh, and they just keep rolling in. I love it. Oh, we got the cake. I'm going to hang on to you because you could be a good cook. But again, I have no idea... How like what the how much this barracks needs to uh, you know what I mean like how how many people does it serve that's what I'm trying to say yes sir oh, oh. Ah. Third, what just happened to you dropped a book yes, on yourself sir. okay here we go sixty there we go we did it hmm. I love to see the camp in full swing the hard training the sun on your face and the sobs of troops begging for mercy it reminds me of the good old days. <laughs> Uh, they will go from inexperienced weaklings to well-trained professionals. How exciting. I don't know if you've noticed, each soldier's info panel allows you to choose which class you'd like them to specialize in and shows you what skills are required. They'll let you know they're ready for specialization. However, I recommend that you check how our cadets are pro progressing from time to time. I have one before building a comms operator specialization building. Oh my goodness, okay. Once you have it, just go to the soldier's info panel and from there bring up the specialization tree. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. So that person that's at a level 60 is going to get specialized now. Comms building. That's a pretty small building. We can put it around behind. Yeah, let's make like little like training blocks. That's what I want to do. Okay, bring that road up. And it needs some power. So let's go get our power pole. Click on this one. Shift click. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, but we're, we're powering the whole block. Add more power sources. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> this is like a McDonald's or something. I'm just like freaking out over here. 
So if I... I probably have to connect it. I probably have to wire it up, don't I? Uh, let's put it here. And... Is that wired up or not? I'm not sure. Well, it stopped yelling at me, so I think it works. But what I'd like to do, just in case... Oh, I don't know why it, like... There we go. I don't know why the cables, like, get all, um... Twisted like that. I really don't want them to twist. But I like that it goes... I like we still have the tree there and everything. Okay. Specialize the soldier in the comms operator class. Okay, so that's, uh... She's got a 60. This is her. Okay. Oh, set goal. Comms operator. Oh, okay, so we don't change her to... Oh, okay, 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 great. So we set goal here. We want to make a comms operator out of her. Specialize her. Uh... Reading, looking, looks good. Oh, she's gonna get a bit more expensive though. But now we have a comms operator. <laughs> Our cavalry will be full of true professionals soon. Give it time. As I mentioned, we can make troops work the day or the night shift, but that's not all. If you want, you can ask them to work more hours or give them some time off. This will be very useful when you're close to reaching a training target. Oh, I love it. But be careful, don't push people too hard or things get go badly. A target is more likely to get injured. Rest is just as important as work. I love it. You know what? I like this. You know what? I kind of like army. Maybe I'd do good in army. I like... I, I kind of believe that rest is maybe more important than work. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's time to get serious. Okay. Hey! We need to train two artillery specialists. Get on it right away. Once they're ready, we'll be able to stand up to that... Uh, dr to, to drug hall. Hey. Let's get to work. Okay, let's get some artillery going on. Now, that I think we should probably put somewhere else. Let me take a look at my soldiers here. Artillery specialization. The thing is, it fits really nicely there. But I feel like that could be... It could be a problem with the... With the comms operation being right there. They might get, you know, upset. <laughs> with how much... How noisy it is. Especially these two privates and artillery. Okay, what about yes, these guys? Sir. We're getting them pretty physically strong. Set goal. Go be an artillery person. Specialize. Yes, and let's take a sm somebody yes, who can sir. like, who's kind of smart. You know what I mean? Get them okay. into strength training. Yes, sir. Get this person into Copy intel that, training. Yes, sir. Let's take this person. Is he sickly? Is he their guy? Ooh. I can't remember. Let's. You know what? Let's make him artillery as well then. Um. Oh wait. Oh, I can't. Oh, because his strength isn't high enough. Oh, okay, 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 wait, yes, hang sir. on. So it's mainly just a strength thing. <laughs> the noises. Okay, specialize. Yes, sir. Accept. There we are. Well done. I love it. The recruits have become fully-fledged professionals. I think they're qualified to take on their first mission. Me too. I have built a fully functional heliport. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, we better see those helicopters. Now, I think, do we want these kind of near the entrance? Because that could be good. I'm just trying to think, like, where... I, I don't know anything about army bases. Where do you put helicopter things? <laughs> I think it's going to be nearby. Because I think whenever you watch a movie and there's like, people are walking in, there's always helicopters, like, right in the... in the Like, we could put two here, and then maybe we build, like, an airport later on or something. I don't know if that's even unlockable. Okay, let's put it right here. There we are, looking hey. good. Start your engine, boys. It's time to fly. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do... Okay, now we go do this. Looks like they're in urgent need of help in Rocky Appendix. All right. Dragon has banned cabbage in their territory. <laughs> Stuffed cabbage, cabbage soup. Okay, all right. We're a very... This is like a northern European country. We really like our cabbages and our sauerkrauts. Uh, select the troops you want to send to the mission at the bottom. Let's do it. Uh, <clears throat> let's do it. <sighs> let's <laughs> let's do it. All right. Uh, so we click on it, and we've got our comms officer and two artillery officers, and I believe we can now start the mission. No, I wanted to see the helicopter. Ah, oh, well, that kind of works. Okay. So oh, so it's happening now. And if I scroll. I can see the progress of our mission. So the, I guess the more of these I have, the more missions I can run. So we actually might, I mean, yes, we can have these two here, but we might want to make like a whole airfield or something. 
Assign activity is not suitable yes, for training. Oh, assign activity is not suitable for training. Goal. What's your goal? I'm trying to improve your intelligence skill. Oh, it's maxed out. Okay, let's improve your okay. strength training now. Everything is okay. All right, so maybe I sent him to the wrong place. But we'll get him doing that, and then we'll make another artillery officer or something. I really love when you kind of you can scroll in and kind of see the interiors. I, I think that there is going to be the ability to, like, see, like, upgrade things here in the future episodes. Maybe not everything. The entertainment building, I, I guess we can't upgrade. This we could upgrade with research levels. Okay, very good. So we're going to start to... Oh, wait, is that ready? Can I upgrade this already? Oh, no. Uh, so we're going to probably start to see that in a little bit, like what, you know, what the different models look like as we grow, and maybe we'll be able to research better and bigger buildings. Looks like some things are locked here. So this may be telling me everything I can unlock in the future. Spies, infantry, tanks. Oh, I hope we get to see some tanks driving around. Commandos, snow troopers. Very cool. Psychological. Oh, so, okay, some, some clinics. So we could have a whole health wing, like in the middle, maybe. A surveillance tower. Oh, so these are defense things. So maybe we're going to get uh, be getting attacked or something as well. That could be something that comes up. I don't know. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit with the... I don't know what the hotkey is for that. Then we have enter more entertainment buildings, some decorative uh, items. Oh, it needs to be accessed from all sides. Okay, and a large park here. Oh, very cool. Okay, so some decorative items, a cinema, museum. That's all been unlocked now. A whole bowling alley. I love it. Some lamps here, some flag pieces, a nice silver statue. We probably do want something like that out right out here. Let's put like a park out here. Uh, speaker improves camp morale. We need like flags and like a, uh, and, and a and a statue of some kind. Uh, what is a small, what is a park? A park like this? Okay, let's slow down time. I think our mission's complete. Okay, wait, let's do a park uh, right here. And I want to get a, he, uh, our, our our soldiers right there and then a nice triple flag thing there we are oh yeah i mean just just look at that yes okay i might even move this maintenance place i want some more like hardier uh, decorative items in the front there to make this look a little better okay let's take a look at our missions i'll scroll out good job soldiers get All ready right. for the next assignment very nice so we've freed up some territory and the villagers, the cabbage farmers, are happy. The despicable dragon has us on bread and water. He took away our cabbage and made us burn our entire crop. Oh, so sad. Yeah. We erect a statue of our for our fallen cabbage from now on. Should we remember as Cabbage Day? Uh, well, okay. yeah. I'll let them fight it out. So the more territories we liberate, the more economic support we will have, and we will get to do a bunch more, uh, you know, train uh, different types of people and take over uh, all the land that Dragon has has taken, invaded and taken from us. Each town has a popularity rating that we have to monitor. If this rating is high enough, we gain additional funds. Okay, troops coming from those towns will have better traits. Plus, we'll get special deals on the suppliers. Um... Oh, okay, so they're going to have different needs every so often that we'll have to do as well, and probably we'll have to go and defend them. See, the town has a low power, but no active requests. You can help them by sending personnel to serve there permanently. Towns often need medicine or maintenance uh, or other issues to solve, so keep an eye out. So it's sort of a hearts and minds campaign we're going to have to do. Only if we remain undefeated can we defeat Dragon. All right, there is... There is more to do, and it looks like there's going to be a couple more text boxes as well. But I think I'm going to keep playing this. I want to see how much further we can get into the game. So expect some more on this channel for, of this game. And I hope you found it to be some truly solid content. Uh, and we will see you in the next episode of One Military Camp. Eyes forward, Private. <laughs> <laughs>